Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The artillery modernization has been another Achilles heel of the Indian Army's modernization program with the never ending trials of eight ages and never ending quality issues with Dhanush. Recently, we have reported regarding the additional order of 200 K9 Vajra for Indian Army, which is being progressed by Defense Ministry. In future, there is a scope of additional 200 Vajras. Pakistan, which is known for acquiring the military assets beyond its economic strength, is now looking to acquire mounted howitzers from China to counter Indian artillery firepower and remain relevant at Western frontier. After fighter jets, drones, frigates, the artilleries are now the next set of military hardware that Pakistan will be procuring from China. Literally, Pakistan armed forces are getting converted into Chinese army. As per the latest report, Pakistan has received its first batch of Chinese-made SH-15 155mm mountain howitzers. Apart from howitzers, China has also supplied Norinco AR-1 300mm multi-barrel rocket launchers. In 2019, Pakistan has signed a contract with Chinese firm Norinco for the supply of 236 SH-15 155mm vehicle mounted howitzers and AR-1 heavy artillery worth $512 million. The contract also involves the supply and transfer of technology for the various ammunition to be used in the artillery included guided and extended range artillery shells with range up to 53 kilometers. The SH-15 155mm vehicle mounted howitzers are quite similar to the French Caesar truck mounted howitzer. It is fitted with 155mm gun compatible with all 155mm NATO standard ammunition developed by Chinese firm Norinco. Its artillery can attain maximum range of 53 km with the help of rocket assisted VLAP projectile. It can also use precision guided munitions based on Russians Krasnopol laser guided projectile technology with range between 20 to 25 kilometers. It has maximum rate of fire of around 4 to 6 rounds per minute which is a decent firepower for a mounted howitzers. The K9 Vajra has however an upper edge with rate of fire being 6 to 8 rounds per minute. The SH-15 just takes a minute to change its position and resume firing from another position. This gives it an important shoot and scoot capability and improve its battlefield survivability. It can also mount 12.7mm heavy machine gun on the roof for self-defense. The SS-15 is fitted with a computerized fire control system, navigation, positioning and targeting systems. The vehicle receives target information from artillery command vehicle. The approximate cost of one unit of artillery is $2.1 million. It was inducted into PLA Army as PCL-181 somewhere in 2018 or 2019. The AR-1 300mm MBRL supports multiple barrel rockets intended for saturation attack based on Russian BM-30 Smirch platform. It is mounted on an 8x8 truck. Each launcher truck has 10 launch tubes mounted on it which can have 300mm rockets. The rocket is having range between 40km to 100km which is a big advantage for Pakistan Army over the Pinaka MBRLs. The move by China is to ensure the Indian armed forces are engaged in two-front war with Pakistan at western frontier and with China at northern and northeastern frontier. 
Recently, we have also reported about the possibility of China sharing the hypersonic missile technology or even transferring the DF-17 missile technology to counter India and take away its dominance at Western Frontier acquired with S-400 SAM. Couple of days back, Pakistan Navy has inducted its first Type 054 AP frigate developed by China called PNS Tugril. It is first of the four type of 054 AP frigate developed by China. The frigate is largest and the most advanced surface combat vessel China has ever exported. Other major naval projects undergoing between Islamabad and Beijing includes F. 22P frigates with organic Z9 helicopters, survey vessels PNS Behar Masah, Azmat class fast attack craft, and eight Hangor class submarine. The new vessels provided by China to Pakistan will definitely divert the focus of Indian Navy towards western coastline and the Arabian Sea. China seems to be playing the two front war doctrine with India pretty well. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.